Okay, so here we're going to have a look at how we disable the magnetic timeline um, in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is really useful if you want to position clips um, at a point in time um, without having the magnetic timeline snap them automatically to the end of your edit. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. We're also going to have a look at how we can um, delete clips from our timeline without the magnetic timeline snapping back. This is really useful if you want to position your clips at a particular point in time. And we'll also have a look at how we target connected clips. So some of the things that you're used to doing in Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, where you want to edit clips to a connected group of clips or move clips to a particular point in time in your main storyline. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we do this in Final Cut Pro 10. So we've got a few clips here that are marked out. Okay, and the normal way that we would edit these down um, to the timeline is either by dragging and dropping them down to the timeline. Okay, and as we'll know, if we drag and drop a clip um, into this space over here, then it's going to snap back to the end of that first clip. Okay, there's a really simple way to fix this um, if we want to position it ahead in time. Okay, and that is to jump to the position tool and the position tool allows us to place that clip anywhere we want to on the storyline so if we grab the position tool and we grab this marked clip we can drag it down here and you can see there's no limit to where i can put that um, in the area that i can view here on my timeline on my main storyline okay um, if we want to put things at a particular point in time then we can let's just delete uh, some of these clips so if we want to put a clip at a particular point in time we can position our playhead and we'll bring our playhead to around one minute here and then we'll use the shortcuts that we have here um, in particular the insert shortcut with the position tool selected to actually drop that clip right into that spot here and you can see what's been left in that space is a slug that enables us to either edit another clip down there at a later point in time or to um, just leave it um, as a slug and edit a connected storyline over the top of it okay Slugs are also really useful um, if we have the position tool selected um, at the very beginning of your clip if you want to attach an audio track, okay? So if you want to have a, a fade from black to your um, clips coming in, then you can attach an audio track below your main timeline here um, to a slug that's at the beginning of the, the sequence here. So the position tool is really useful um, in a number of different scenarios. Let's jump back to the selection tool, okay? And we're gonna grab a different clip here. So we'll grab this clip, okay? And if we drag this down as a connected clip to our main storyline, so we've got a connected clip here, then one thing we might want to do is actually edit other clips into this connected clip. And the way that we do that is by grouping this together or by creating a connected storyline. Okay. So if you go to clip and create storyline, it's going to add a black box around that clip and that will now be a connected storyline. Now, if we want to target that storyline, we need to select the storyline itself. Okay, so we can edit with some of the shortcuts um, to the storyline, but we need to make sure that we grab the selection tool, grab the storyline, and then now we can grab another clip, okay, and we can do an insert edit, and because we have that storyline selected, it's gonna edit into that storyline. That storyline is, is targeted, okay? So that's how to edit um, clips to different layers and target them in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if we wanna delete a clip from the timeline, the key we normally use is backspace or delete, and that will snap your clips back into place, okay? I'm just gonna undo that. Now, if we instead, we've got the selection tool selected here, we'll grab this clip here. Um, if we use that delete key or the backspace key, then it's gonna snap that storyline, the clips in that storyline back into place, so the magnetic timeline in full effect. But if we press the delete key that's just two keys below F13 on a full keyboard, then it's gonna lift that clip from the timeline. Okay, so we can use forward delete to delete a clip and then leave a slug in its place so we can leave that timing in place, which is really useful if you're editing a music video or something like that and you don't want the magnetic timeline to throw everything out of sync, then the delete key or the forward delete key um, is really useful. If you don't have a full keyboard, then you can use the regular backspace or delete key and just press the little FN on the very bottom left of your keyboard, okay? so. Look to the bottom left of your laptop or your um, small keyboard, if you've got a small wireless keyboard, and there's a little FN, hold that down, and then press backspace, and that will produce the same effect. So you'll be able to, if we just add in another clip here, pull that to the end. So if we delete this clip in here, for instance, holding down function, 
and backspace, it's going to do the same um, as delete. Okay, and you can see that slug has now expanded. Okay, so that's a few tips for disabling the magnetic timeline um, using the P key, and also how to use the forward delete key to delete clips, but not allowing the magnetic timeline to snap your clips back into place. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope you check out my other tutorials online, um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.